Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I've got the entire Lot 40 lineup, the brand new 11-year-old cash rank that just released. I'll let you know how it compares to the last year's 12-year-old and with the original after I nose them, taste them, and give them a mark. All right, starting with this year's 11-year-old cash strength, it came in at 58.4% ABV, 100 Canadian dollars, and limited to just 4,020 bottles. So that's one year younger, uh, about three and a half more percent ABV, 30 more dollars, and about 950 less bottles than the previous year. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to this. I've spent some time with this whiskey. I just feel like this one definitely needs water in it for sure. Let's go ahead and add that, and we'll get to the nose. So right away, some really nice, creamy spiciness to this. You get that like that overripe banana note, banana bread, that like sweet, like icing sugar. And let's get like an interesting kind of like a spearmint kind of bubblegum note to this one. Different than last year for sure. Really nice like uh, mild kind of vanilla and then like another mild kind of oaky note to it too. Pretty nice nose. Let's go to the palate. Really, really good. Nice uh, creamy spiciness to this again. You get ginger cookies. You get that really nice sweet cake icing note to it. Um, the oak, it's in there. It's kind of subtle not too complex. And then to finish, medium to long, you get that nice spice, that nice rye kick on the finish. Really nice whiskey. Uh, score wise for me, um, gonna give a nice high score, 87 and a half out of 100. Value wise, they bumped this one up 30 bucks from last year. So I'm gonna take off half a point for value, but a nice solid uh, 87 out of 100. All right, last year's 12 year old. This one came in at 55% ABV, $70 Canadian, and 4,968 bottles produced on the nose. Absolutely amazing nose on this one. Really nice, rich creaminess. You get uh, fresh bread, you get rye spice, you get banana, you get like cooked down bananas, you get like banana split ice cream. Get apple cider, you get like a gingerbread cookie, almonds, um, you get like brown sugar, and like a nice like bourbon kind of like caramel to this. Really rich, warming kind of nose, nice complexity, really, really, really good stuff. Let's go palette. So really, really good. You get that nice like banana note that kind of runs through this whole whiskey. Really nice, rich, kind of overripe banana. Uh, rye bread, you get vanilla, just a touch of mint, um, carrot cake, fruit cake, caramel again. It's just like a warm kind of Christmas hug on this one. Finish, nice and long. Um, those banana notes linger. A little bit of oakiness, just very, very subtle on oak on this one. Um, just really, really good stuff. This is what Canadian rye whiskey should all be about. They did an amazing job with this expression. Uh, score wise for me, I'm giving it a huge score, 90 out of 100. Value, uh, $70 for this bottle. Obviously they realized that they underpriced it. They bumped it up an extra 30 bucks for this year out of a year younger, but I'm adding a point for value on this, 91 out of 100. Let's see how the original compares. All right, 43% on this and $38 at the LCBO on the nose. So you definitely get like a more like youthfulness nose to this one, a little bit sharper, but you get that nice rye spice. You get that banana, that uh, cooked banana note. Some caramel, some oak. The oak is really faint though, really in the background. You kind of like a floral kind of note, almost like um, like hand soap. There's just a tad bit of like a herbal note on this one too. It's really nice though. Really nice on the nose. 
All right, let's pallet. Big right kick on this. Maybe even like touch more than the previous two. You get that cooked banana yet again. Um, caramel, brown sugar. The oakiness just faintly in the background. A um, little bit of like a creamy kind of toffee note to this one as well. Really nice whiskey uh, finish, medium length. That rye spice lingers. The banana notes kind of in the background. Kind of a nice combination of like sweet, spicy. This is the whiskey where, this is the one I recommend to people who ask, what's a good Canadian whiskey? What's your like go-to Canadian whiskey? I always say lot 40. Um, score wise for me on this one, uh, 84 and a half out of 100. And for the value, I'm gonna pump it up a half point to make it a nice even 85 out of 100. Let's see how these compare head to head. All right, so there are the scores. Um, there are the scores with the value added points. I just think for me, last year's 12 year old was just that much better than this year's 11 year old. Um, I think like the depth, the richness, the complexity on the nose, on the palate, on the finish, which is that much cranked up um, versus this year's. That banana note that kind of runs through all these whiskeys was most enjoyable for me uh, on last year's 12 year old. Um, the finish on this one, that much more um, than this year's. And that kind of like, Kind of like spearmint note that I got on this year's um, 11 year old. It didn't quite work like just like the regular kind of minty, subtle mint I got on this one. This one's a lot more kind of pronounced, kind of more in your face, kind of knocks the balance off a little bit, I think, for this one. Um, but just like not as rich, not as deep as last year's. Um, Last year's was kind of like that groundbreaking whiskey for Canada, in my opinion. Um, it kind of just kind of set the standard going forward of like what Canadian whiskey can be. You know, it's not just that like mixing whiskey ball at 40% that you put with Coke or ginger ale. It can be sipped. Um, it can compete with the high proof rye that are released. You know, it can compete with Buffalo Trace's antique collection, um, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this year's 11 year old? What do you think versus last year's? If this is the only one that you find in your area, let me know what you think about this. I think it's a great whiskey. Um, let me know in the comments, guys. I appreciate it as always. Cheers.